Hello, hello, and welcome to Learn to Read and Trade in the Market. This is lesson number one, Be an Artist, by your host, Panagiotis Diamantopoulos, or Takis for short. But before we start, let's read the risk warning. Trade the volume waves offers general trading advice that does not take into consideration factors such as your trading experience, personal objectives and goals, financial means or risk tolerance. Keep in mind that past performance is no indication of future results. So let me remind you what this Learn to Read and Trade Any Market video series in TradingView and YouTube is. It's going to be short video lessons trying to explain the whole process of reading a chart using price, location, structure, volume, and a single tool, Waste Wave with Speed Index system. Apart from that, we're going to also uh, watch some videos on money management and trader psychology. The target of this video series will be uh, to help out retail traders to answer the following questions. Why did this move happen? What should be my risk be? Where should I place my stop and target? What should I do to be successful? So here we are on lesson number one. Be an artist. Why be an artist? Because you need to know how to draw support, resistance, and Fibonacci because they are very important uh, on our trading, okay? So we're going to talk about time frame significance, price location significance, and then we're going to draw support, resistance, and Fibonacci significant levels. So time frame significance. The larger the time frame, the more significant it is. Therefore, the monthly is greater than the daily, the daily is way greater than the weekly, and so forth, so on, up to M1, which is one minute, which is the less significant. The longer the time frame, the more effort to move the market. Therefore, the more genuine the move. Support and resistance are stronger at these levels and you can better trust the result of a larger time frame than a small time frame. Why? Why? Because larger time frames have more volume. Simple as that. Okay. Now, time frame significance, but, but the larger the time frame, as, such as a monthly, weekly, or daily, is not good for entries, especially for scalpers and swing traders. Why? Because they don't show the details. Okay. For these trading types, scalpers and swing traders, uh, these large time frames are not that good for entries. They're good for analyzing, but not for entries. Now let's go to the price location significance. That's another important uh, topic, which you need to understand. Uh, why is it important, price location? Well, because most people in robots will trade at specific locations. And why do the most people will trade at specific locations? Because very simply, you have been trained to operate at these locations from many different trading methodologies. Which are these locations? Support, resistance, pivot, Fibonacci, and EMAs. This is what you have been taught all along that these are points that price might reverse okay so everybody's trading at these levels so more volume at these levels so the definitions 
drawing support and resistance level. We're going to do it on the chart. But let's first look at the definitions. What is support? Support is the level where the price stops dropping. Okay. Example will be a double top, a triple top, or a multiple support points or a Fibonacci level. So let me just go to the trading view and show you an example of that, of the support. Okay. So we said a support level is when price stops dropping. So how do we draw it? Well, we draw it like that. Okay, let me just get a rectangle. All right. Let's assume that the price is coming down here. And then the definition says that the price cannot, will stop dropping. Therefore, this is a support level. Okay, because price never dropped below this previous uh, level. Therefore, this is support or a double bottom. Let's look at another uh, support level. Now we are on a daily chart. Let me also this daily support level. It's much stronger than a five minute support level. Okay, let's look at the five minute support level. For example, as you can see here. Okay, we got another support level right here. Okay, because price didn't drop, it went up, but then we broke it. So this support level did not hold, it was a temporary support level. So, as I said, daily more important than the five minute or the one minute. Okay, now let's continue to our presentation. This is how we draw support levels. Let's look at uh, multiple support levels. I saw some on the daily. Let me go back to the daily. Uh, do we have a multiple support level here? Uh, not really. That's another support level here. Okay, this one. Okay, that's a support level. And let's go back to our presentation to look about our resistance and our definition. So the definition of resistance. Resistance is the level where price stops increasing. Okay. This can happen on double top, triple top, or other or multiple points. So Let's go back to our presentation, to our uh, trading view to look at resistance levels. All right. So price must stop increasing is the definition. Therefore, this is a resistance level. Okay. Price stopped increasing. Actually, we got almost three points. Okay. One, two, three, we never closed above. So this is a resistance level. Okay. Uh, another resistance level is this one. Okay. Price was never able to break this le previous level here. So how do we draw these resistance levels? Well, from the current price we are, Okay, uh, we start uh, dragging our rectangle or line to the left. So, for example, let's say that the price uh, we were, it was here. That's the current price. Let's say, let's assume that this is the current price. So, we'll start drawing from this le a point all the way to the left until I find something and I hit something that it didn't go through and above the rectangle. So that's a resistance level. Okay. So let's continue to our presentation.
Fibonacci retracement. What are Fib retracement levels? These are levels that price might find support or resistance. Each level is associated with a percentage and the percentage is how much of the prior move the price has retraced. The Fibonacci retracement levels are 23.6, 38.2, 61.8, 50, I forgot the 50 here, and a 78.6, then it goes to 100. Then we, so this is retracement. I will show you what I mean by these percentages. Most common levels that traders will use for entries are 50 and 61.8 because we have been trained. Okay, we are waiting for a pullback to get a better price. And the more the, pull, the pullback, the better price we're going to get. Therefore, 51 to 6.8. Let's see how it looks like. Let's assume that we are uptrending. This is the price. Okay, we hit this level and then we start pulling back. So this is the 38.2 percentage of this up move. Okay, and then we hit we, this Fibonacci level here and we start going up. This is the 50 level. And this is a 61.8, okay? So let's draw some Fibonacci and find out how to draw Fibonacci on our trading view, okay? So basically, Fibonacci are draw in the direction before the pullback. Let's assume that this is the pullback here, okay? This pullback right here. Okay, so price was going up and then we started pulling down. Okay, so the Fibonacci is drawn from the bottom swing to the high, the low to the high point of this wave. So let's draw it. That's a Fibonacci tool for uh, trading view. So I will draw it from the low to the high. And as you can see, I have marked all the percentages at the 23.6, 38, 50, 61. And as I said, most of traders and robots are trading the 50, 61.8 area, which is this uh, red marking, which I have put on the Fibonacci and as you can see this is exactly what happened we hit this area and then we start going back up and then we hit second time so basically in this situation here where we hit twice we got two things going on one is that we are in a Fibonacci area okay so let me just write it down. So that's the FIB area of 50 to 61.8. Plus, we got a support level. Okay, so which means this point is a confluence of support and Fibonacci, which makes it stronger for the price to reverse and start going up and this will happen so let's draw another Fibonacci on the opposite way okay for example no we're going to go we're going to move this one for example that's in one Fibonacci on the daily chart okay which we are approaching the 50 and then also if we want to see the Fibonacci on this down move, then we draw, I will delete this one, from the top to the bottom, okay? And check this out again, okay? This is on 50, 61 area 
and at the same time it's a resistance level okay and price started going down okay this is not our entry it doesn't mean that every time we hit 50 61 we enter short okay this is the daily as i said before it doesn't provide details that means we need to analyze uh time frames which are less than the daily i usually analyze the one hour or the four hour and i would like to see what happened in these areas that we draw all right so what's the conclusion <clears throat> the conclusion is the following of this lesson larger time frames are stronger than small time frames support and resistance are stronger or larger time frames Fibonacci electric acting as support and resistance are also stronger or larger time frames why more volume or larger time frames we collect more volume so tune in for lesson number two to trade review ideas and my youtube channel thank you for watching